Okay, as you can see on the screen, we have this beautiful red boundary. And of course, this property belongs to my friend. Now, how do we create such boundaries? And of course, a map is just open. You can see it on the screen. Okay, we have a beautiful map. You can also do it very easily in a short time if you have an Autodesk account. What you have to do is just to create an Autodesk account and then of course just sign in over here. I'm already signed in so I don't need to sign out. Let me just remove the location so I can show you from the start. Now the first thing you have to do is actually just to sign into the Autodesk account. And then from the insertion tab, we have a location panel and of course a drop down having two tabs from the map and from the file. Let me just choose from the map. As you can see, we have a beautiful map that is just open. And this is, of course, a dialog box. Okay, you can see a geographic location dialog box. Now, the next thing is actually just to specify the address. You can also zoom in, zoom out, okay, from the map if you want to see the uh, maybe the continents. As you can see, we have different continents the uh, Asia, Africa, okay, Australia, Europe, etc. Okay, you can also zoom in. To the specific uh, continent and then of course to a specific country like you can say pakistan afghanistan etc okay now let me just enter a location let's say sawat and then press enter now as you can see we have different uh you can say results and five are just found okay let me just say uh, i'm gonna just drop a marker over here for the sawat district okay you can see that you can now zoom in zoom out does not matter what you have to do is actually just to click this next and then of course you have to just specify the uh, coordinate system now if you know about the exact coordinate system you can of course just specify that does not matter like you can say qtm 84 42 n i'm going to choose this one for pakistan does not matter uh, if it is just different uh, for you you can just choose that one now the time zone you can even just change it like maybe let's say uh, islamabad karachi and Tashkan, okay, I'm gonna just choose that one. And then the drawing unit setup, you can also just uh, change these things over here, okay? I'm just gonna leave this by default, does not matter. Now, let's just click next. And of course, AutoCAD is asking for the point, location, maybe for the origin, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, press enter because I need the coordinates like zero comma zero comma zero, okay? Press enter. Now, it is asking for the north direction. So let me just, uh, turn on the R2 and then of course I'm going to specify the Y direction and of course a point has just been placed over there as you can see this is an amazing map okay you can see it on the screen this is the map which I want you can zoom in to a specific area if you want and of course uh, for, for, for the same thing you should have a, a, a stable internet connection okay so let's just wait because my internet connection is a little bit weak so we have to just wait for the same results which we want okay as you can see we had the uh, this tab which is just open uh, like maybe uh, for the location related panel okay there is and we have some tools okay for the uh, things for maybe for the uh, points and then of course online map panel which includes different types of maps okay you can even turn off the map if you want okay and you can even just capture a specific area or maybe uh, a viewport as you can see let me let me just uh, zoom out and then again zoom in as you can see we have uh, this area and pretty amazing area uh, without any buildings as you can see because this is savant and some mountainous stage okay now let's just have an example if we have some property over here okay let me just uh, change the location somewhere maybe toward the city okay like maybe this place so this is savant and let's say we have a land like this one this is the land as you can see on the screen now if i need to create uh, this boundary in the same AutoCAD, and then maybe further i don't need the same map so i can do it you can just pick a polyline like maybe you can type pl in the command bar and then press enter uh, specify the start point i'm gonna click on that corner and then of course uh, you can turn the ortho up and then of course we have this corner and then that one and of course we have some curvature over here maybe you can zoom in for the uh, accuracy okay like this one and then of course we have that corner and then by c space i'm gonna close the uh, you can say the pulley line as you can see this is a pretty nice pulley line you can just uh, increase the thickness maybe the, the, the weight okay like this one okay and even the color maybe this yellow okay so this is now the boundary and 
I don't actually need the map now. I'm going to turn the map up. As you can see, we have this boundary. Now I can use it for the further stops, like maybe for the house plan, etc. Okay, for the uh, parcels, okay, for the property subdivision, I can do that. And even I can determine its area, like maybe double A space and then O space, and then click this uh, pull line. Okay, and the screen, as you can see, we have this area. Okay, you can even copy and then, then just paste it over here if you want. Okay, you can see this is the area. Pretty simple thing. Okay, so this is how we can open map, and then of course, how we can draw the boundary of the property. Okay, using AutoCAD. See you in the next video.